Yes, I will address because uh, you said that in the during World War II that the British uh, actually had problems keeping uh, order in the in the Palestine region. And why didn't the Haganah push for independence instead of uh, helping the British uh, suffocate the Arab rebellion? Oh, it pushed for independence all along the way, but that was not in the interest of the British Empire. Uh, the British Empire, again, you have to see it from British Highways, through British Highways. Uh, its main concern, which increased towards uh, 1938 and 1939, you see, the, the, the British Army, the British uh, 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 High Command, uh, defined the most immediate threat to Britain uh, as Germany as of 1934 or the end of 1933. Now that meant that it had to ensure uh, stability throughout the empire. And they were very fearful of what would happen if the British army had to go to war in Europe and rebellion or violence would erupt in the Middle East. The problem was not the Palestinians, the problem was the whole Middle East. Also the romantic association with the uh, ideal of an Arab nation, a unified nation, which would, uh, uh, might turn against the British. And in fact there, were, there was, for instance, a rebellion in Iraq, the Rashid Ali al Kalyani rebellion. Uh, which was pro-German in 1940. Uh, there was a very strong opposition to British rule in Egypt, of, British, of Egyptian nationalism. And the fear was that uh, uh, if Britain accepted, for whatever reasons, the claims of uh, Jewish national independence, uh, the result would be a strong anti-British feeling uh, in the Arab world. Uh, this goes beyond the Arab world. There's a constant fear in Britain, uh, realistic or not, of what the reaction would be of the Indian Muslims. And this is sort of a leitmotif throughout discussions of, of world, world situation, or the Middle Eastern situation. How would the Muslims in India react to, to, to developments in the Middle East and Palestine in particular. So there was no way they could, they, they felt they could afford to respond favorably. And in fact, the demands of the Jewish leadership to allow units, its own units, uh, units to serve in the British Army under a British and a Jewish flag or the Jewish national flag were resisted until conditions were such that they had to accept any help from anywhere, which towards the end of the war was the case.